I just spent eight pounds to buy the super credits, 1000 super credits, so I can unlock the Steeled Veterans Premium War Bonds. I didn't have enough of the super credits, so I had to buy some. And I just unlocked the first weapon, the Liberator Explosive, and I'm going to test it out in today's video, see if it was worth eight pounds. There's a few interesting weapons in the Steeled Veterans War Bond page. You get the P4 Senator as well, some pretty cool armor sets. This one looks pretty cool. You got this Breaker Incendiary, Incendiary Grenade as well, and this Dominator Shotgun, which looks pretty interesting. And this armor set looks pretty cool. So yeah, I think um, eight pounds, not bad for a thousand credits, or you could have just saved up a thousand super credits from buying it from the War Bonds, the normal War Bonds page. So looking at it in the armory, it looks pretty cool. It's got a nice little explosive gas cylinder canister attached to it. And it does 55 damage, 30 capacity. It's got light armor penetrating and explosive. Fire rate of 320, recoil 28. So damage is only 55, which is the same as the default liberator. It's got a smaller capacity mag. It's got a higher recoil. Uh, let's test it out, see if it's any good. Okay, we're landing. Let's see what this gun is like. It cost me eight pounds to get access to it. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. I like the orange. If you get an orange outfit, it would match with it. So we got seven, seven magazines or clips. Oh, what was that? See how quickly it takes this down. Uh, one whole clip, and it didn't take down a stalker. It's kind of rubbish, to be honest. The fire rate is not very quick. What is this doing? I am not impressed so far. It says it's explosive, but I didn't see any of the bullets explode. Then I got stuck in the water. <laughs> Look at my cape. I emptied nearly an entire clip into that stalker, and it didn't die. Oh, I'm the new squad leader. Why is everyone leaving? Okay, let's land up here and see how it does against normal enemies. Two shot. It takes like three shots. I don't see it exploding though. How is this any different to the normal Liberator? I thought the bullets were supposed to be explosive. What is going on with the ragdoll today? It's not great, to be honest. Because <laughs> with the breaker shotgun, you can kill these stalkers in um, in one magazine. How many does this? I haven't killed any stalkers yet. Look at this. How many damn shots does it take? Can it penetrate armor, though? I want to shoot that armored thing. It obviously won't penetrate the charger. Oh, it does penetrate these ones. Look. I'm getting headshots in. Oh no, it's bouncing off. I thought it was penetrating it. I guess not. Now this gun's rubbish. I wouldn't use it. I'd rather use the breaker shotgun. I don't even see how it's explosive. How do these guys get up here now? Oh, I'm in the water. When you're in the water, you're kind of screwed. So yeah, that gun kind of sucked. I wouldn't recommend buying the Steeled Veterans War Bonds for it. I'll try getting the P4 Senator next and aim for the Dominator shotgun because that seems good. Or the Incendiary shotgun. Don't know if the Incendiary grenades are any good. Let's try it out again on something. The scope looks like this. Look at this. 
Can you even kill one of these? Maybe it takes... Uh, it took about one and a half clips to kill it. It's really rubbish against stalkers. It's not bad against little ones. But then basically everything can one shot the little things. I feel like the default liberator is even better than this. It does seem to take the legs off easier, more easily. No, it doesn't penetrate their armor. Look, it just bounces off. I thought at least there'd be a little explosion. So what can you do? Auto and semi. This gun sucks. <laughs> I can't believe I spent eight pounds to use this. Yeah, I can't really recommend this gun. Pretty bad. The breaker shotgun is just better. What's this? Breaker shotgun? Oh, thank God. That feels so much better. This is going to actually kill stuff. Look, I'll find a stalker. There's one. Watch how easy it is to kill with the breaker shotgun. Oh my god, are you kidding? Did someone already damage that? It went down nearly straight away. So, the reason why is because the breaker shotgun does like 330 damage per shot. Versus the liberator, whatever that was, incendiary does like 55 damage per shot. So to do the same amount of damage, you'd have to fire like seven shots versus one shot of the breaker shotgun to do the same kind of damage. It's pretty bad, isn't it? Now that's why everyone uses the breaker shotgun. Look, he's using it as well. It's got really good rapid fire. It's got high damage. The Liberator series, even the Liberator Penetrator with medium armor piercing... Because the the damage is low, it only does like 45 damage. Even though it's armor piercing, it's kind of rubbish. This is so much easier with the breaker shotgun. Wait, where's the... Oh, there it is. Liberator explosive. I thought it was liberator... Uh, incendiary. Look how many shots you have to do. So it only does like 30 shots, I think it was. So 30 times 50 does like 100 and... No, I can't do maths. What is um 30 times 50? 30 times 10 would be 300. 3,000... 1,000... 1,500 damage. Wait, why don't I just get my calculator? Yeah, it does 1,600 damage per magazine. Whereas the break shotgun does like 5,000 damage before reloading. So that gun was kind of rubbish, wasn't it?